Today in the livestock market, cattle was pretty steady today. Those cash prices did move up just a bit. It gave futures uh, some support after it fell two and a half dollars and then rebounded. So I think that says a lot for the market today that it was able to uh, scramble back after it really had a, somewhat of a sell-off to start off the day. The option open interest still is highest at the 138 and 140 mark. So perhaps that's giving it a little bit of a lift, even though the futures right now are sitting at 136.50 ish area. The CVAL for the live cattle market is at 14.4, which is basically the same, maybe even a little bit softer than it's been over the last couple of days. Now the feeders did firm up, so that's kind of helping the beef complex as a whole. The futures slipped early and then recovered, so they kind of responded the same way as the live cattle market did. Box beef prices are mixed, and with the steady corn prices, it kind of eases concerns that there's going to be a big spike in feed prices. But uh, the market basically made a pretty strong finish to you know recover its early losses. Uh, hogs are the real story in livestock today. That did gap up a new high of 124.45. That is a whopping number in that June contract. Uh, cash prices were sharply higher. Uh, pork cut cutouts were up too. Fundamentally. Uh, tight supplies are driving these prices. Now, the cold storage report is expected to be bullish as well. All these things are just pushing the market higher. The CVAL right now for the lean hogs is at 30.3%, which is pretty modest compared to what, where it has been uh, lately, I should say. But overall, beef is choppy and not really out of the woods where feed prices are concerned. But the lean hog market, again, is off to the races.